Okay, introdu introduction to algebraic symbol manipulation. What we want to do here is we want to solve the following equation for x. What does that mean? Well, if we look at this, this is solved for y. It means what it, it's written like y equals something. What we want to do is we want to rearrange it, fix it, so that we get x equals whatever. Okay, so that's what it means to solve for x. So the first thing we have to do is we, we want to recognize that on this side of the equation, you know, here's our balance beam again. And we have got y <coughs> equals an x plus 8 over here on this side of the balance beam. If we want to get this x all by itself, notice that we need to take away an 8 from both sides, right? Because if we take it away from over here, then the x is all by itself. That gets us to actually to where we want. So this this kind of explains why here we want to get the x all by itself so we can subtract or undo x from both sides. Addition can undo subtraction, subtraction can undo addition, multiplication undoes division and division undoes multiplication. So those are going to be pretty important things to rec to recognize. And so in this case, we've got an x plus 8, so we want to minus that 8 from both sides. And this is how it shows mathematically. So if we come from here to here, we see that. And then, of course, this cancels each other out. And so we're just left with that x. That's what they're showing here. And over on this side, the y minus 8 stays the same. So here's our answer. We can re -re rearrange it so it looks like that. x equals y minus 8. And we're pretty much done. We've solved it. It's really only a one-step thing. Now, I want to make sure you understand what this means. x equals y minus 8. It means that if, if we know a value for y, then we can calculate what x means. So if we're given, say, for instance, y equals 2, then in place of the y, we'd put a 2. 2 minus 8 is negative 6, so our x would equal negative 6. And if y was 3, then we'd plug it in the same way, and we'd get x equals negative 5. So that's what that means. But this is our final answer. Let's look at another example, because in this case, we had a, a plus 8, and we got to undo that, subtract. In this case, we've got a multiplication. So if we want to solve for x, again, if we use our balance beam concept, we've got 14x here, and over on this side we have y. What do we have to do to this 14x to change it into just plain 14? Well, we notice that's a multiplication. 14x means 14 times x. And how do we undo multiplication? We divide. And of course, anything you do to one side of the balance beam, you have to do to the other side. So that means we have to divide. So that's what they show right here. If we divide, then these cross cancel. <coughs> and we're left with just a plain x or a 1x which is the same thing, equals y over 14. So x equals y over 14 would be our final answer for this. OK, so just remember, if we go back here, these are, uh, these are kind of important things right here to remember things that could go in your notes. Let's maybe even circle that in red. Addition undoes subtraction. Subtraction undoes addition. We're always undoing things to get the x all by itself. Okay, have fun.